Tonight's show is going to be a Shakespearean special. We all love the plays of Shakespeare, such as Romeo and Juliet. Romeo, Romeo, where for at thou Romeo? He's there. Uh, Hamlet. Oh, poor Yark. I knew him well. So bad. And, of course, the Scottish play. See you, Jimmy. <laughs> with you once more. Oh, what a lovely holiday I had. Went to Tunisia, Egypt, Libya, the Ivory Coast. <laughs> Inexpensive. There was vacancies everywhere. Seriously. <laughs> Upgrades galore. Uh, now, what a show we've got for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, top actor David Tennant is here. <laughs> she loves him. She loves him. Uh, comedian and actress Catherine Tate is on my sofa. Yes. Making his first appearance on the show, hilarious comic John Richardson will be here. And singing sensation Josh Groban will be joining us. Calm down. Hey, I'm looking forward to meeting Josh. Now, I, I think uh, there are Josh fans in, are there, yes? That's right. Ever so popular. <laughs> Ever so popular with the older lady. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, in fact, uh, here's Josh on uh, Loose Women. Yeah. Oh, I tell you, they like him. That's at the start of the show. Here he is ten minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, come back! <laughs> Josh is on with all the greats. Uh, Beyonce, Sting... Celine Dion. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, and also fantastic to have uh, David Tennant back on the show. Now, of course, we all remember David as Doctor Who, but his breakthrough role was as Casanova. Casanova. Ooh. <laughs> A very raunchy show. I tell you, in one scene, Casanova even had sex with a 70-year-old woman. And, <laughs> You do think, who would want to sleep with a 70-year-old woman? Me, <laughs> please. <laughs> now, I have to say, it's an exciting time for uh, all my guests to be here in the UK, because I think, uh, I speak for everybody, we're all gearing up for the royal wedding, aren't we, ladies and gentlemen? There they are, the lovely couple. I know, little one little royalist at the front. <laughs> Details are emerging about the ceremony. Apparently, despite the recession, Kate Middleton will arrive at Westminster Abbey in a glass-sided coach. <laughs> <laughs> Every young girl's dream. <laughs> As the big day approaches, lots of souvenirs have gone on sale, including this wonderful loving cup. Ah, I wonder where they got the inspiration for that. <laughs> It's Catherine Tate! Whoa! 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 Hello, darling. Hello. Take yourself down. And off and off, because there's a star guest on my sofa. It's David Tennant! <laughs> hello, sir. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, hello, hello. Take yourself down. Oh! Welcome one, welcome all. He went for wine. It's quite a camp glass. It, it is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I shall cock my pinky. <laughs> <laughs> now, royal wedding, royal wedding coming up. I mentioned it in the monologue, and uh, I've only got a couple of weeks left, but I'm determined to find someone on my sofa who's going. 
anyone tonight? Anyone invited? <laughs> no. <laughs> and I was... I think I'm still more likely to be staff. Than, uh... <laughs> <laughs> bon <au> <laughs> You've met them, haven't you? You've met the boys. I have. I've met the boys, yes. Very nice guys. Very nice guys. I, got, I had the privilege of singing at... Uh, at Diana's tribute concert at Wembley, uh, Wembley Stadium, and they were they were absolutely lovely, really nice guys. Yeah, they didn't like you that much, though. In no, the... <laughs> you, you're not on the list. It's just no, no, exactly. No, because you've got to think. It'd be lovely. Josh Groban first dance. <laughs> oh, that'd be nice. From your mouth to their ears, that would be that would be amazing. It would be. It would be kind of nice. Wouldn't it be lovely? I would love to provide that for them. I wonder what the first dance is. The, they must they must know by now. You think? The slosh. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're rehearsing. I think they'll do like the dirty dancing drill. Yeah. <laughs> time of my life. I could do that. That would be yes. fun. Yeah. That's right in my range. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but, Catherine Tate, it must be an odd time for you, a bittersweet time for you, watching someone marrying. I know. Did you notice when I was little, I honestly thought I was going to marry. Prince Andrew, is that what you're talking about? Yes. yes. Andrew? Yes! <laughs> of all the royals! <laughs> I know! I know, but when he... Ma when I was at school, he was really good-looking. He was really... No, he was really good-looking. <laughs> and who knew he liked ginger people? If I'd have known that... <laughs> <I'd have> known. <laughs> <laughs> you'd, have, you'd have worked harder. I'd have, I would have picketed the... Um, yeah, no, it was a sad day for me when, when Fergie bagged him, I must say. And do you know what's weird is, though, I love... Cos they've gone merchandising crazy. And this is genuine merchandise. You can get this in John Lewis. Uh, people who feel like you, so you can have this. It's a, a, sh a special royal commemoration. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes! Okay, that's for you. you there you go. Thank wow. you. I mean, uh, now, because the, the memorabilia has gone very left field this time with things that they think are appropriate. You can buy this book, right, uh, called uh, Knit Your Own Royal Wedding. <laughs> And they, they do work, the patterns, because... <laughs> Have you done yeah. one? Well, I haven't done the Abbey yet, but I've got everything else. <laughs> <laughs> no, sis, they're all in here. Is this what you've been doing since the end of the last series? Yeah, <laughs> four <laughs> weeks <laughs> on, on a beach in the Ivory Coast, knitting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so... Well, that's that... Postman Pat that you've got in your lap. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's... what's his name? Um, who's getting married? William. That's him. <laughs> <laughs> that's William. You can tell, because, look, they knitted in the bald patch. <laughs> and, Kate Middleton, if by some bizarre reason you are still watching this show, look away now. <laughs> because this is you. <laughs> <laughs> Arms to her ankles. <laughs> and she's wearing... Slippers. <laughs> Old lady slippers. She, um, yes, I think she photographs better than she knits. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. However, can I just say, um, Camilla, she looks better knitted. Yeah. <laughs> she looks good, isn't she? Yeah. Uh, and then some of them, you're not, there's so many men in uniform, uh, you're not sure who they all are. <laughs> And when you take the hat off this one, there is a clue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, no, and so this will be them. This will be them at the wedding. At oh. the wedding. Why don't you do a bit, do a bit of the dirty dancing music? <laughs> sing, a little, sing a little bit of the dirty dancing music. I had the time of my life. <laughs> I owe it all to you. Now, very exciting because uh, you guys together again. Yes. Uh, you know, it's not just the royal wedding bringing love into lives. <laughs> uh, you're doing a big Shakespearean. Romantic comedy. We are. It's yeah. kind of the original romantic comedy, really. Much Ado About Nothing. It is, because you, you probably don't know. Maybe you do know. They worked together before. Doctor Who. Yeah, you do yes, know. Yes, I do. Yes. BBC America. There you ah. go. There you go. You're so cultured. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Shakespeare, Much Ado About Nothing. Um, uh, you're Benedict Beatrice, famous kind of duelling 
uh, lovers. Yes. And is this the first time you've worked together since uh, Doctor Who? Well, in acting it is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. We've done a lot of other... We've done building? What else well. do you do? <laughs> Are you referring to my show as not acting? <laughs> you oh, were on you're my not... Christmas special. Yeah, but that was Rude. Too... Rude. Was... <laughs> rude. <laughs> that is quite rude. You were, <laughs> you were acting. I just did a silly voice and some tight trousers on, really. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's, the, it's um, the most substantial thing we've done. Yeah. yeah. And because, you know, as David Cassidy famously sang, we could never be lovers, we've been friends too long. Yeah. Is it weird going to a world where you have to admit there is a possibility that you fancy each other? <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> um, what do you mean? In the, in the play? You mean well, in our fictional you're, you're, life? Yeah, you're playing characters and you have to say, actually, these two people could get it together. Yeah. That's all right, but, isn't it? I just wondered how you feel about it's, that. It's only a play. <laughs> really good actors do have sex with each other when they're pretending <laughs> to be. Famously. What's to say we're not doing that after the show tonight? Well, you know, that, that's what I'm asking. Hang on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you guys get fan fiction about that kind of thing? Because I get fans writing stories about possible relationships and things like that. Do I they, think there is do a they create... Act, but I don't indulge. I have a fan who... Um, for about four years now has had a one sort of sided dialogue with me because my agent doesn't pass on I only found this out recently my agent doesn't pass on the letters but for about four years he's been trying to get me to marry him like but properly he's from America and um, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, that explains it that's right, right yeah. was, was it a Mr. J. Groban <laughs> <laughs> And, and he's apparently, you know, he's been so, you know, uh, fighting his corner to the point where he's written me a song. Is okay. you? <laughs> nice. I think he's in a band. And, but, but what is happening, my agent's been responding on my behalf all this time. And then when she told me, and I said, well, you know, let's not be too hasty about this. <laughs> <laughs> At least show me a photograph. And she said, no, it's... I've had to say to him it's not going to happen. And he's written and said, I'm now going to stop because it's a bit painful and I understand that you, we probably won't be together. And the reason that she didn't show it to me straight away was that he's got ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> that was it? That was it. She thought, well, you won't like him, he's got a ponytail. <laughs> the man adores me. <laughs> Four years. Four years. Because John down the he's written, you've written it. Have you finished the book? He's written a book, a kind of a, yeah. a relationships guide. Uh, yeah, if you intend never to be in a relationship again. <laughs> it's a relationship guide in that sense. Oh, what, what, what does that mean? Do you mean that the relationship you're having will last the rest of your life, or you'll never... You... It means you will never be attractive to another human being. <laughs> ever, that. In that sort of sense, yeah. So it's a kind of how-not-to guide. It's, it's my personal... I have a very cynical view of relationships that... Uh, Oh, yeah. oh, that's nice, oh. Isn't it? oh. Are you, did you just go, ah? Oh. Yeah. I love a girl with no with her. I... <laughs> Are you two together? Are you in a relationship? <laughs> Didn't they answer the, differently? To, no, no, but to the lady, the la he went, yes, and she went, she went yes. <laughs> I mean, I would say this to pierce any sympathy you might have for me. Your relationship will end, and the more you love each other now, the more devastated you'll be when it ends. <laughs> Is, is that... <laughs> Have a nice weekend! <laughs> is that the core of the book? <laughs> it, it comes across, that vibe, yeah. 